This is the first of two lectures regarding a long-standing interest of mine, optic disc drusen. I've been interested in optic disc drusen for many years, but my interest was focused when one of my senior glaucoma fellows many years ago turned out to have optic disc drusen. And we reviewed the world literature and much of what I've learned over this time I hope to share with you. The first lecture, Optic Distrusion 1, is going to cover histopathology, pathogenesis, prevalence, associations of optic distrusion, and the basic clinical features. The second lecture, Optic Distrusion 2, covers one of the main differential diagnoses, i.e. papilledema, optic disc swelling from raised intracranial pressure, the basic investigations, importantly the complications of optic distrusion, and some thoughts about practical management of patients with optic distrusion. So the histopathology of optic distrusion is complex. Basically we're looking at pre-laminar pathology occurring in the pre-laminar optic nerve. What we know is that globules of mucoproteins and mucopolysaccharides accumulate over a long period of time and eventually some of these calcify. Histopathologically, these globular aggregates are associated with pre-laminar spongiform edema of the tissues and atrophy of the adjacent retinal ganglion cell axons next to these aggregates. We know that optic distrusion are found more commonly nasally than in a temporal location and we know they're found more commonly in the peripheral or marginal parts of the optic disc as opposed to the central location. We don't fully understand the pathogenesis of optic distrusion. What we think is that there is a, an acquired or inherited dysplasia of the scleral canal, the prelaminar optic disc tissue, and the optic disc vasculature. It's generally felt that this inherited dysplasia of the scleral canal leads to a smaller than normal scleral canal opening. Drusen are thought to be deposition products of axonal degeneration and amongst the various pathogenesis that have been suggested, a common theme is one of holdup of axoplasmic transport. If you enjoyed this lecture so far, please subscribe to http colon forward slash forward slash op dot vision. I hope you enjoy this series as much as we have putting it together. Thank you.